So now I'm really going to give you um, a sales pitch as if you were a potential customer who really doesn't know about Ignition. So I'm, I'm really going to keep this pretty general. Uh, inductive automation, just to give you a short overview of who we are, um, we've been around since 2003. Um, although we did not start as a software company, uh, we started as an integration company. Um, our president and founders got about 30 years, experience, 30 years experience implementing these types of systems for his customers in the Northern California region. Um, he really found that there wasn't any good solution on the market back in 2003. He hired some software developers and basically had him, them develop his, his dream software. Um, since then, it's grown tremendously. Um, the, we, uh, software is now being used in almost 90 countries at this point in pretty much every industry you can imagine. We recently did a count of uh, our customers in the Fortune 500 and found that about 30 percent of Fortune 500 companies use our software, most of them actually being in the upper Fortune 100, which is nice. Our headquarters is in uh, Northern California, so all the software is developed here. We have training here two to three times a month, uh, tech support as well. Um, although the um, headquarters is in California, we do resell and support our software uh, throughout the world through an integration program um, that consists of over a thousand integration firms. Now just getting into a brief overview of the Ignition architecture. Ignition is a server-based architecture. That means that you would just install the software on a server-based machine somewhere there on your private network. That machine would have a uh, connection on the network to the multiple devices and PLCs. It'll have a connection to a database. We don't supply a database. We let the user pick what database they'd like, and then Ignition will simply have the drivers to communicate with the different uh, databases out there on the market. Um, it'll then have a connection to all the clients on the network. So whether you're on a desktop, laptop, touch screen, you know, it could be a thin client out there on the network, you, get, you can go ahead and launch the application onto those clients. Um, so again, the software is just installed on the server machine. That means you have one license to worry about, one, um, one you know, install to worry about. All of the clients just need a browser and Java to, um, to uh, launch the application. Although Ignition is one piece of software, it is modular in nature. So that means you can use those modules together or separately, depending on what it is you're trying to accomplish. Um, the first is the OPCUA server. Um, Ignition has an OPC server for uh, Allen Bradley, Siemens, and Modbus. Uh, we have the built-in drivers that are free and just come with the software, but you could use whatever driver you want. If you wanted to use GE or maybe you're partial to RS links, you could use that. We'll work with both UA and DA servers. Um, the SQL bridge, that's kind of like your transaction manager. So it's a bi-directional bridge between an OPC server and a database. So say you wanted to uh, do some data logging, or maybe you want to do store procedures or recipe management. Um, this is the piece of the software that will um, drive the data back and forth. The vision module, those are all your screens and clients. Uh, reporting module, those are dynamic PDF reports the alarm notification module. So that'll handle your alarm pipelines. You can build logic into your alarming system and you can work with you know, on-call rosters. You could do two-way email. You can also add SMS and voice notification if you wanted to. An option is usually the mobile module. Some people like to look at their, you know, their application on their iPhones, iPads, Droids. Um, that's a nice feature. A lot of managers like like to do that sort of thing. So we, we have a mobile module for that. So those are the base uh, core modules. And what's nice about it is there's other modules if you wanted to do um, you know, other things with the software, like maybe you wanted to look at a web page inside of your ignition screens, or we have IP cameras so, uh, components. So maybe you wanted to look at IP cameras within your ignition screens. Um, we have an OE downtime module if you wanted to go up into the MES layer here so you want to connect to ERP systems, SAP, um, we have uh, statistical process control, um, scheduling, recipe changeover, track and trace, kind of the whole gamut there. Um, what's nice about the MES modules is that they, plug, they actually use this core layer. So that means you can um, have your OE downtime system and it's connecting directly to the PLC data. Maybe you want to pull up a trend. Well, you've got um, the SQL bridge here, which is actually creating that trend for you. 
Um, so without going into too much detail, that's, that's kind of a general overview there. Um, some things that really make Ignition stand apart from the rest of the um, other software packages out there is that Ignition is 100% Java all the way down to the, um, the drivers. That means you can run Ignition on any version of Windows, Linux, and Macs. Your customers don't need to worry about, okay, I, I want to go to Windows 8. Is my software going to be compatible? We ran on Windows 8 the day it came out. So, um, and it, so it's definitely a package that, you know, your customer can put in and then they can keep that pack, package um, in there, that software package in there, whether they decide to upgrade their operating system in the future or not. Um, the next slide here is the pricing model. Um, Ignition, we have all of our prices online. Um, that's very different. I used to work for another vendor where you'd have to wait oh, maybe a couple weeks to a month for me to give you a quote because I, I had a lot of different pieces I need to look up. I need to know what your budget was, et cetera. Um, we're very straightforward with our pricing and, and people like that. So we have our software packages on the website. You can look at the individual module prices. You can make your own um, you know, packages. Uh, we're known for our unlimited clients and tags. That's, that's pretty much what we're known for um, throughout the industry. But you also get the designer built in. You don't have to pay separate for a uh, you know separate development package. You're not locked out of the designer, um, and it's got everything pretty much included there. And then we've got um, other packages that go up and include the mobile module, sequential function charts, etc. So that's typically what I do. Of course, I usually spend more time doing that, um, especially if the customer has questions. But um, what you really want to do is, is focus on, you know, the main things that make us different. Um, so the scalability, you know, the customer knows that they could start with, um, you know, one of the packages today and then later on they can add on, you know, OE downtime and it'll all work on that same platform together. Um, expandability and definitely affordability is, is a big push there. <clears throat> 